the vocabulary that you need to know before you join any trading discord group. So let's get started with the first one. The first one is what is a damn call? A call is an option that you buy in an option trading world and in the industry in the sphere of options and when you buy a call when the alert a call we can say it's like a 508 a 508c and what a 508c is that they are betting based off of the price of spy or let's just say the s&p it's running at a price level at 507 so they're grabbing 508 just due to they're gonna they believe that price is gonna go from 507 to 508 in a matter of a second a matter of a minute or it can be in a day who knows but that's just what they're going for because that's where they're going to say that the price is going to be at within this specific date but when it comes down to the contracts you're going to um, either buy a contract that expires the same day it can be within two days it can be within three days or it can be all the way till friday this is just where you choose as a trader within yourself and CS and you know what do you want to select it's really up to you and based off the budget because when it comes down to these strike prices um, they have different um, amounts of you know price ranges that goes from either cheap to expensive so it all comes down to your budget and also based off your analysis where do you expect spy or any stock to reach out within a um, specific day period um, the next one the next one is a put so let's just say for example um, a signal caller says that you know Apple is gonna go from uh, 170 which is a price let you know, let's just say a price that's currently on you know 170 at the end of the day I, d I don't know what Apple's running at right now but let's just say for example 170 so they they want price to reach 168 and so what does that mean that means that they're going to buy a position which is a put and that right there is leading or telling you that they are betting on the market to go in a downward move because if you see 170 and you subtract the buy to 170 minus you know 168 is they're going to see or expect a two dollar difference uh, meaning that they expect it to go down because it decreased in value so that goes within the share price so from 170 to 168 is what they believe and they're going to grab let's just say a put option um let's say a 170 put okay so why are they grabbing a 170 put maybe it's just due to the option chain that's the only thing that they can select or again just like i said the budget the the amount that they got it all comes down to your analysis and the money that you have available for you to spend so 170 put means that you know they are currently going to be in the money they're going to profit within a second a minute or so whatever they decide to do if they're going to scalp it day trade it or swing it then that's you know then that's that so from 170 to 168 is they're going to be technically in the money but if it hits 168 that put option is going to double or maybe even triple within its investments and now they are selling basically low and selling high and that's on how they profit so that is just what it is when it comes down to um, trading options and when you show it any when you join any type of trading discord group that's where they're gonna say that you know I'm buying a 508 call or I'm you know buying a 170 put on you know um, this X ticker so at the end of the day, it's really what they call out. It's what, you know, what they believe the market's going to hit to. And, you know, you can profit off that move. So the other things that you need to know, the other terms that you need to know is you need to know what, you know, um, a break. A break is meaning that you are trading a breakout. So if they say right if they say the market is going in an uptrend making higher highs and higher lows and they have let's just say a resistance level a resistance level is just an area where price is currently at and based off that pullback it automatically creates a resistance which is this right here and within that resistance they want price to break above that previous high right so again let's just put res 
and based off the resistance they expect price to break out of that so what they're going to say is that watch for you know let's say for example 99 check on the right hand side 99.48 breakout and after that 94 eight breakouts that's where they're going to enter you know the upside because if you see the market going up you're trying to bet on the market to go to the upside and that's where you buy a call option just like what we spoke about below um before um because with the call option you're betting on the market to go up in an uptrend and that's where you trade that breakouts which is watch for that level to break which is 99.48 and right after that breaks, you're automatically entering at that break, stop loss, I should say below here, and then you're long. But now you might be wondering, I said, what the hell is a stop loss? A stop loss is just an area where you would want to get price or what you want to get out of if price decides to um, fall right back down and doesn't profit the way you wanted it, you know, um, head to. Or, or this is just what happens when it comes down to price going up and it decides to fall right back down. And this is just an area where you're gonna get stopped out. So you can sell for a, you know, either a break even or for a loss. And I would prefer hitting a stop loss right in here instead of, you know, having no stop loss and price, you know, going lower and lower. And, you know, you burnt more, you know, the rest of your money inside of your account portfolio. So for instance, we can say that if price stops me out for a negative $40, I prefer that over a negative $500, which is, you know, price comes down here. Okay. So again, this is just what I've seen, what happened. And this is just what I've taught so many students for them to, um, for them, for them to do is just accept, accept a small loss and then move on, move forward. And again, you can't, you're not Thanos. You can, you can't be invincible and, you know, just be every single Avenger. Um, but what it is, is that you want to bet on the market within the order flow that's you know uh, presenting in this case it was an uptrend so you want to go for the upside so in this case um if i take this breakout trade yeah hopefully i can make and double my investment or triple my investment or quadruple my investment but i want to be on the right side which is you know to continue going up right so that's just what a break entry um you know is when they call out it in a discord so now um Break above, break below. I mean, it's the same exact thing. I mean, we could just put on a, uh, let's just say a horizontal ray, just like that. And also like this. So this is just an area where you, again, resistance and also price down, or not price, but support. And within the support, you see price doing something like this. So it's creating resistance and creating a support. And I know that you all have may seen this if you have been studying the charts. Um, if not, then you need more help on this or want to learn more about day trading, then join Vault Trading Academy. The link is in the description and you know we'll get you situated. But back to this, the resistance is just areas where you have rejections and bounces off of key support levels. So in this case, um, each area that I just highlighted is a seller and there's down here where is a buyer. So the buyers are called a support, meaning that they're buying at that level. And then the resistance is where sellers believe that they don't want price to go higher. And it's like a 50-50 here. It's either going to go up or it's going to go down. So in this case, we wait until price goes either above or below. And this is where um an admin or the ceo of you know um your trading discord would say that okay i'm watching level above here or watching level below here and i would say you know um calls above you know let's say 100 oh 100.51 100 or i'm watching puts below you know let's just say puts below 96 96 you know let's just say 75 okay so when they see ranges like this they want price to break above or break below and they're just waiting so they have their alerts either the top side or downside whatever the case is and now at the moment that price chooses let's just say this 
resistance and price breaks above, that's where they're grabbing calls, meaning that you're gonna go on your option chain, you're gonna go on your brokerage, and you're gonna look for calls. So for example, if I'm day trading or scalping, I'm gonna look for you know something that's in the money, meaning that's gonna go for 100, 101, or maybe 102, because I want to bet on price to go to the upside. And just like I mentioned, those strike prices are gonna have a different amount of premiums and also the different costs behind those um, strike prices. So let's just say, for example, if I'm a cheap stake and I wanna go for the cheapest contract based off my budget, then I would say I'm gonna go for a 103. So if price goes above you know, this resistance and we're trying to go for calls above this key level, which is 100.51, we want price to reach 103 so we can make the most out of them, um, make most of the money out of that contract that we just bought, which is the 103. Um, I mean, yes, you can be in profit even when price crosses above or just, you know, doesn't even hit 103, but 102, 102.50, you're already in the green. But at the end of the day, it's up to you. And do you want to take profits? If not, then let it hit your price target. Um, same thing with puts below. If price decides to sell off, you grab puts below the support level because that is showing you that there has been buyers, you know, getting taken out and sellers are too strong, right? Because remember, sellers at the top, buyers at the bottom. And if buy or if sellers are taking prices downside and they are, they are beating the buyers, then that means you're going to grab puts. Puts below 96.65 and I can grab a strike price that goes from 96 95 or 94 and you can just see the difference between calls and uh, puts because puts now we're saying that the price is going to you know decrease within the price because that's on how you can make money in option trading or just uh, in any financial market so all you're doing is just trading the up and downs and within the up and downs you can make you know x amount of uh, figures so that is just what it is based off of you know the basics on what you need to know before you join any day trading um, discord group is those basics once you know those basics you can take a nice signal you know comfortably and also with um with a good mindset behind those trades are you going to take because it, either if you want to profit on the upside you can if you want to profit on the downside you can do that as well at the end of the day it's up to you it's you know your analysis it's your money you you risk whatever you want to risk and you know try to get that um, try to get that back and if you like this video click the like button hit the subscribe button so you'll see more videos just like this i'll catch you later peace and love